how Stefanos Tsitsipas became an ATP tennis star. Biography Stefanos Tsitsipas is a Greek professional tennis player who currently holds the number one ranking in Greece and has previously ranked number one in the world among junior players. His current number 44 world ranking also makes him the second youngest player on the ATP top 100 list. He is also the only Greek player to make it into the list, as well as the best Greek male tennis player in the open era, and Stefanos reached the finals of the prestigious junior tennis tournament Orange Bowl for two consecutive years in 2014 and 2015. Well, every tennis fan knows Stefanos Tsitsipas, but do you know about his past life or his family? How has he achieved such great success? Well, let's find out. But before we start the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel to know all about your favorite sports stars. And let's get started. Stefanos was born in Athens, Greece on the 12th of August in 1998, and he has worked very hard to become one of the most successful players of tennis of all time. He kind of also has a tennis gene inside of his DNA, as both of his parents are experienced players, and his mother, Julia Apostoli, was the world number one junior who had a career-high professional ranking inside the top 200, and she represented the Soviet Union back in the Federation Cup in 1980. When Stefanos was born, both of his parents used to work as tennis instructors at a resort in South Athens. Stefanos is the oldest of his siblings, and surprisingly, all of them are tennis players. It's not like their parents tried to force them into the sport, but it was always a big part of their lives, and Stefanos himself says that tennis formed a part of most of his first memories, that he remembers watching matches on TV and in person. While he took part in other sports as a child, he himself made the decision to become a professional tennis player. At the age of nine, according to his father, Stefanos woke up in the middle of the night, and after watching a tournament in France, he told him that he wants to become a tennis player, saying that he likes the competition and the challenge. No doubt, it must have made his father very happy. And Stefanos has been trained by his father for most of his career, and his father had actually formally studied tennis coaching at the University of Athens in order to help train his children. When Stefanos turned 15, he started training at the Patrick Moore Toggles Academy, splitting his time between France and Greece. Two years later in 2017, he won his first ATP match, and soon ascended up the ATP rankings the following year. He played three tour-level finals in 2018 and also won his first title in the Stockholm Open. With his first runner-up finish at the Canadian Open, he became the youngest player to defeat four top 10 opponents in a single tournament. Since culminating his season with his exhibition title at the Next Generation ATP Finals, Stefanos has become a fixture in the top 10 of the ATP rankings. In 2019 and 2021 year, he reached two Grand Slam semifinals at the Australian Open and another two during the French Open. In 2015, at the age of 16, Stefanos qualified for his first event on the ATP Challenger Tour at the Bernie International, but lost his only main draw match to Benjamin Mitchell. However, the slight setback didn't discourage Stefanos because he went on to win his first future title later in that same year. Throughout the following year, he went on to win a total of 11 such titles, five in singles and six in doubles. In 2017, he played his first ATP main draw at the Rotterdam Open, where he unfortunately lost his debut match to the eventual champion, Joe Wilfred Zonga. But again, he did not allow this match to discourage him, and he went on to make his Grand Slam debut later that same year as a qualifier at the French Open. After losing and qualifying at the U.S. Open, Stefanos won his first challenger title in Geneva. Overall, he qualified for a tour best eight events during the season, including Wimbledon and Shanghai Masters. However, he did not win a tour level match until the very end of the season, when he defeated fellow next-gen player Karen Chenkinov in Shanghai. At the European Open in Belgium, he reached his first ATP semifinal as a qualifier, and it was this event that catapulted his career even further. Because during the event, he upset the hometown favorite and world number 10, David Coffin, for his first career top 10 victory. With this run, Stefanos became the first Greek player to be ranked in the top 100 of the ATP rankings. And in case you haven't been keeping track, he achieved all of this by the age of only 19. While he was undoubtedly one of the best players of all time, 
he still has some way to go before he can take over from the old guard being Rafael Nadal Roger, Federer, and Novak Djokovic. Although with a current net worth of around $11 million, he's probably well on his way there. He has used some of his hard-earned money for his millionaire lifestyle to set himself up in Monte Carlo. That has everyone talking about how he snagged up his very pricey holiday on Instagram, showing fans the villa he rented for a little over $24,000 a week. The breathtaking six-bedroom house is located just above the world-famous Beach of Sorrow and set in a sprawling 5,000-square-foot private compound. Overlooking the beach and the Aegean Sea, each of the six bedrooms boasts an in-suite bathroom and balconies with sea views. According to the Daily Mail, multiple terraces and lounging areas can be seen wrapped around the swimming pool. And apart from that, there's a formal outside dining area shaded by a traditional pergola. That's how he spent his vacations, so imagine what his house will look like. But unfortunately, we don't have any details about his own home, as he's keeping it all a secret. We can, however, tell you what he drives. Let's just say his car fits the Monte Carlo mold perfectly, because in Stefano's garage, you'll find a Ferrari F430, and he himself calls it more than a car. The Italian-produced sports car comes with a 4.3-liter V8 engine and has a top speed of 196 miles per hour. It can accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 3.6 seconds and comes with a starting price of $217,310. His dream car is the Aston Martin Vantage, and he recently said to FirstSports.com that if he became the ruler of Greece, even for a day, he would give everyone an Aston Martin. Now that's pretty cool. Furthermore, in case you didn't know, he's fluent in not only one, not two, but three languages, English, Greek, and Russian, as his mother is of both Russian and Greek descent. He has two Instagram accounts. His primary account is mainly for his fans, but since he has an interest in photography, he posts his pictures on Instagram using the pseudonym at Steve the Hawk. In a recent interview with GQ, Stefanos confessed that growing up, he would cry and hide behind cars after losing. He said, I used to cry a lot when I lost in matches. Other times, I reacted even worse. Sometimes, I would just freak out and run away from my parents and hide somewhere so they can never find me. I felt so embarrassed, so ashamed of my performance that I couldn't face them or anyone. However, he told the magazine that after he had a near-death experience as a child, it completely changed how he sees tennis. One thing is for sure, Stefanos Stestipias is one of the ones to watch right now, and hopefully his future will be as bright and as successful as his career. Apart from tennis, he likes to play football, table tennis, video games, and spend spare time swimming, watching movies, and hanging out with friends. If he had not been a pro tennis player, his next choice was to become a professional footballer. And that's all for today. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe to our channel for more amazing videos. And thank you for watching.